pharynx. This serves as a common passage for food and air. The food passage continues as esophagus, food pipe. The air passage continues as larynx and trachea, windpipe. The opening of larynx is guarded by muscular flap called epiglottis, which prevents the entry of food into windpipe while swallowing esophagus. It is a straight, collapsible and muscular tube which passes through the neck, thorax and through the diaphragm into the stomach. It has both voluntary and involuntary muscles. Internally, the wall of esophagus is lined with the mucous membrane which secretes mucus. Mucus acts as a lubricant and helps in easy and smooth passage of food. Swallowing is a voluntary act. Once food enters esophagus, swallowing becomes an involuntary act. When food enters into esophagus, the muscles present in its war contract and relax alternately, producing wave-like movement. These are called peristaltic movements. They help in pushing the food down the esophagus into the stomach. Peristaltic movements of esophagus are involuntary. There are no digestive enzymes in esophagus. Esophagus is only a passage through which food enters into stomach. Hence, food does not undergo any change in pharynx and esophagus. Stomach Stomach is a muscular bag. It is present on the left side in the abdominal cavity below the diaphragm. The part of the stomach into which opens is called cardiac stomach. The part of the stomach that opens into duodenum is called pyloric stomach. Opening of the pyloric stomach into duodenum is protected by pyloric sphincter. Pyloric sphincter acts like a valve and does not open till the food in the stomach is fully mixed and churned by muscular contractions of the stomach wall. Muscles in the wall of the stomach are involuntary. These muscles contract in different directions. As a result, feed is churned in the stomach. Stomach has three important roles. One, it stores the food temporarily. Two, mixing of various components in the food thoroughly. This occurs due to contraction and relaxation of muscles. Three, it brings about physical and chemical changes in the food. 